Volume. Volume is capacity. It is how much something holds that is three-dimensional. We use volume in three dimensions. So the volume or capacity of a sphere. When you have a sphere, you have a diameter, which goes across the center from one side to the other side, and you have a radius of the sphere. The radius goes from uh, the outer edge of the sphere to the center. So it's half the diameter. Your volume formula is 4 thirds, 4 over 3, pi, which you may know is 3.14. On most calculators, they have a pi button. Sometimes, especially when I'm doing the examples, I use 22 over 7 for my pi, just because I like fractions. <laughs> R stands for the radius, and that's cubed. So when you cube something, you multiply it times itself three times. So volume is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed. If a soccer ball has a radius of 5 inches, what is the volume of the soccer ball? Well, we're going to use our volume formula, which is 4 thirds pi r cubed. And we plug in what we know. We know that pi is 3.14 approximately, or 22 over 7, or you can just press the pi symbol on the calculator. You can use a calculator. So it's 4 divided by 3 times 22 divided by 7 times 5 inches, because that's the radius, cubed. When you plug it into a calculator, you get approximately 524 inches cubed. So that's the capacity. That's how much air, basically, is in the ball. What is the volume of a soccer ball with a diameter of 21.6 centimeters? I have my volume formula again because I'm looking for the volume. It's 4 thirds pi r cubed. My diameter is twice my radius. And so if my diameter is 21.6, and that equals twice my radius, my radius would equal 10.8 centimeters, half of 21.6. So my radius is 10.8 centimeters. So when I plug that in to my volume formula, I have volume equals 4 thirds times 22 over 7, which is pi, times 10.8 centimeters cubed. And when I put that into the calculator, I come up with approximately 5,276 and 6 tenths centimeters cubed. What is the diameter of a sphere when the volume is 500 inches cubed? Okay, so now you're going to use some of your algebra skills in solving an equation. You're still just using a formula that you're plugging things into and then finding out what you don't know. So we're looking for the diameter. So we're using the volume, 4 thirds pi r cubed. And this time we know that the volume equals 500 inches cubed, but we don't know the radius because we don't know the diameter. We do know that the 4 thirds stays the same and that pi is 22 over 7, or just pi, 3.14. And so my, if I solve for my r cubed, I have the 500 inches cubed on this side, right? So I need to multiply by the reciprocal when I have a fraction. So I multiply both sides by 3 fourths. On this side, it's going to cancel. And it's going to come over to this side and be 500 inches cubed times 3 fourths. I also do the same thing for 22 sevenths. This is with fractions. I multiply by the reciprocal. So I multiply by 7 over 22. Now, you can use a calculator. So you can 
basically figure out that you need to take 500 inches cubed and divide by 4 divided by 3 and divide by 22 over 7. Okay, sometimes it's a little bit tricky on the calculator though also. So I end up with r cubed when I multiply 500 times 3 times 7 and then divide by 4 and divide by 22. I get 119.3 inches cubed. Then I take the cube root of that. Now, I don't do that by hand. I do that on a calculator. I use the cube root symbol, and that's 4.9 inches. So my radius is about 4.9 inches, and my diameter is what I'm looking for. My diameter is twice my radius, so it's 2 times 4.9 inches, which is about 9.8 inches. So in summary, our formula for volume of a sphere, a ball, three-dimensional, is four-thirds pi r cubed. Remember, volume is capacity, how much it holds.